You may have heard about EMFs and radiation and everything that's plugged in around you having negative impacts on your health. Well, this video is all about 10 tips to dramatically reduce your exposure to these EMFs, things that you can do at home. And number 10 is something that you probably have never heard before, so I want you to stay tuned for that. Okay, number one on my list is putting your phone on airplane mode can drastically decrease your EMF exposure. And I'm not talking about native EMFs, which are not actually occurring from the sun and from the ground, the magnetism in the ground. I'm talking about man-made or non-native EMFs, which of course have a negative impact on our cellular health. So putting your phone on airplane mode is an easy task to reduce that cell phone signal and force your phone to use more of the Wi-Fi, which number two on my list, if you can set your phone to actually receive Wi-Fi calls, it's not the best thing in the world, but it is much better than receiving that cell phone signal every time that you need to make a phone call. Okay. Now Number three on my list is limit touching your phone. So you can actually use a stand and a stylus and by doing that, you actually have distance between yourself and your biology with your phone. And by using that little stylus, you can click away, not having to actually hold your phone, decreasing your EMF exposure. Okay, number four on my list to decrease your EMFs is to not charge your phone by your bed when you're sleeping. This is super easy to do. Just charge your phone away from you in a, ideally in a different room, at least 10 feet away from your bed when you're sleeping, creating an opportune time during sleep when you can dramatically decrease your EMF exposure. Okay, number five on my list is move away from your Wi-Fi router. So this is something that if your Wi-Fi router is close to where you're working or where you're sleeping, do your best to sort of maneuver your placement of where your biology is gonna be away from that Wi-Fi router to decrease your exposure and increase your distance from, and it's all about the distance, how close you are to these EMFs that makes all the difference. Okay, number six on my list is try not to wear those Bluetooth headphones. So you know the little bud things that go in your ears. The research definitely shows that there's correlations with brain issues, and this is not a good thing. So definitely you wanna decrease your exposure to any type of Bluetooth device, and whenever you can use wired headphones, that's gonna be much better for your health. Okay, number seven on my list is to wire your computer as well. Wire your mouse, wire your keyboard. So anytime you have something that's wireless, there's gonna be more more signals and EMFs emitted from your device back to where it's connecting to. So whenever you can use a wired connection, this is going to be much healthier for you. Okay, number eight on my list is that full body detox, especially detoxing heavy metals out of your body. Now, why is this important? Well, we know that heavy metals are sensitive and react to EMF exposure. So the more heavy metal toxicity, so I'm thinking aluminum, if you use aluminum foil or you use antiperspirant that has aluminum, maybe you've got mercury amalgams in your mouth or you have mercury toxicity in general, this is something that you definitely are going to be much more sensitive to that EMF exposure because of the heavy metals in your body. So by doing the right type of full body detox, addressing those heavy metals as well, great way to lessen and reduce your EMF negative outcomes from that exposure. Okay, number nine on my list is to get grounded. Well, what does this mean? It means taking off your shoes, your socks, getting outside on the bare earth, on the ground, whether that's on sand, on rocks, maybe on the grass. Great way to pull up Earth's electrons, which are very anti-inflammatory, really helping to mitigate those risks against those EMFs. And number 10 on my list, more sunlight exposure. So believe it or not, this is really interesting. Despite what you've heard, having a tan is not something that you want to avoid that the sun is so dangerous. Well, the opposite is the truth. And building more melanin, so the darker you get with building up the melanin in your skin, the more protective this is against EMFs because that melanin actually helps your body to absorb and dissipate those EMFs so that those EMFs don't have the same type of negative impact on your physiology. So build up and get the health healthiest tan that you can possible. And it doesn't matter what type of skin complexion you have, you've got to build up that melanin. Okay, I want to hear from you. Put in the comments which one of these tips or more that you're going to start right now today to start to limit your EMF exposure. I want to hear from you. And for more information on the side effects of EMFs, please check out my video. This is a podcast with the EMF guy. It's called the EMF guy reveals shocking truths of EMF exposure. You're going to learn a lot there. I'm going to see you there.